Thought so. It is that time of week again. How y'all doing? Welcome back. Vapor S. Thompson here. This week's video post is going to be a follow-up video on the Ego T tank system, including some tips, some tricks, and some new items and some additions to the tank system. So, welcome. As usual, I'm Vapor S. Thompson, having a Canadian beer. Having a Canadian vape in my American, though, special edition Patriot Red, White, and Blue Ego T tank system. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I already did a video on the Ego T tank, and I was loving it. I was loving it for its convenience, its consistency, and a lot of new vapors are loving it. The newbies seem to love it. Um, some of the real experienced vapors didn't like it, though, uh, because they felt it was lacking some flavor and lacking some throat hit. Uh, now this is something I didn't really even notice until I went back to direct ripping after a few days. And then I was like, wow, the flavor, the throat hit, the freshness is all back again. Uh, and then I realized there is some downsides to the Ego T tank system. Then, this week, they come out with the new low resistance version of the Ego T, T tank atomizer. And I'm back in love again. Uh, finally, I'm getting that kick, that hit that I need on my throat uh, to be satisfied. I found before with the Ego T, I was kicking off huge clouds of vapor, but I just wasn't getting that satisfaction. Uh, now I am. Uh, 1.7 ohms uh, matches nice with this battery, giving me uh, a real, real nice kick and finally getting some flavor out of it. Uh, quick demo. Nice, nice hit. Still smooth, but it's got that kick that I need. Um, okay, so some tips and tricks that have enabled me to get more vapor and more satisfaction out of my ego. For one, low resistance atomizer, no brainer. If you're looking for more kick, uh, that's going to get you there. Uh, second of all, uh, removing the interior plugs inside. And uh, mine are already removed, uh, so I'll show you one that they are not removed. Here is a standard Ego T tank. Um, it has these, a couple little uh, kind of like drip trays, condensation blockers kind of things, uh, two of them. One of them's right on the end right there. Just pop it off with any safety pin or push pin. Second one is inside, a little smaller, right there. Now, just by removing those two, you're going to increase your vapor by 20-25% in my opinion. Uh, however, the downside to doing this is this is a big exposed hole here. Uh, putting your e-cig in your pocket, you're going to get pocket lint and dust and fluff and whatever's in your pocket stuck in there. Uh, so along comes this new item, the Ego T tank rubber cap. This is now a standard item in all Ego T starter kits as of like now. They're shipping with these. Uh, you'll be able to purchase these by the end of the week. Uh, I think you'll get a couple of these for about a dollar fifty or something. They're really cheap. Just little rubber caps. Uh, so you take the rubber cap and you stick it over top. It can do a couple of things for you. For one, it's going to block off this hole so you're not going to get the fluff and the dust. Uh, for two, it's going to cut out some of the air, stiffening up your draw, giving you more vapor and less air. Um, just stiffens it up all together, plus it's covering up right here. You can see it covers that up. And if you don't like that covered, you can just take a pair of scissors and trim off the end of that. Uh, personally, I'm loving it. I'm loving the feel of it. Uh, I think for $1.50 for a couple of these, uh, great addition to the uh, Ego T tank system. Um, yeah, I have another hit just thinking about it. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Better than smoking, I must say. Uh, another thing that they've added is the, uh, actually they haven't added this, this is an older item. This is a charging adapter. Uh, you can buy these now for about $2.50. Uh, this was designed for people that had a standard 510 starter kit and upgraded to Egos by buying the batteries and didn't want to buy a new charger. You could use this as a charging adapter. Um, you can also use this though um, as an adapter on an Ego T atomizer to enable you to use this on a mod. Like if you have um, you know, a tube mod or a box mod, whatever brand it may be, you can now use uh, the tank system. Of course, you're not going to want to use a low resistance one unless you have a 3.7 volt mod. You wouldn't want to use this at high volt. You'd probably just fry it. So, uh, One more tip I have for you uh, on the uh, Ego T um, is about inhaling on it. Um, 
you'll notice, if you didn't notice, I'll tell you now, uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually continuing my vape, my inhale, for about half a second after I let go of the button. Um, and that is allowing the next hit to be perfectly primed up and uh, keep the liquids flowing again. Uh, I'll demonstrate. Uh, watch the finger. keeps it all ready and, and also when you put in a brand new um, tank like you're just you know filling it up and, and whatnot put a new one in uh, before you start using it just give it a couple without pushing the button and again that will get the liquids flowing get it all primed up and ready for you and you'll find just by habitually doing those things you will get a much longer lifespan out of your Eagle T atomizer whether it's a regular one or a low resistance one um, one final thing, uh, this is actually a viewer sent this tip in, uh, he didn't care for the Ego T tank system, uh, it just wasn't working for him, and uh, he messed up one of his atomizers, broke it, he dropped it on a weird angle and the filler came off, it dislodged something, it wasn't working right, so he decided to play with it and he took some uh, needle nose pliers and actually grabbed on to the, the little uh, needle in there aren't the best pliers for it and was able to pull it out like so now I've actually already done it on this so that's a dramatization and reenactment but once you pull it out in the fluff out uh, you'll see you pretty much have a regular uh, ego XL atomizer in there so uh, he was using it just for dripping so if you've got a half broken ego T atomizer you may want to try just pulling out the top and uh, just dripping on it and seeing put a drip tip in or a regular cartridge and seeing if you can get some more life out of it just using it as a regular uh, ego atomizer so um, yeah all in that um, everything you saw today ego tea talking is from nickfitnation.com I'll put the link below they're in Canada ship to Canada and the US um, got the mix match here you can buy this part in red white black silver red white black silver red blue clear and black so you can make all sorts of combinations um, they're all there and the rubber caps will be coming out in a few days uh, get yourself some of those, and uh, you'll be good to go. And finally, the Ego T tank will get you there. I'm Vaporous Thompson. Thanks for watching with me. We'll see you in a week.